Hey, hey, hope everybody's having a good one. Uh, I'm just going to go over some quick uh, settings and tips that I'd recommend. Well, mostly just settings um, that may help you and assist you in using Gaia 2.0. Now, Gaia 2.0 did release to like the public um, completely as of uh, this morning. Um, I don't believe it's accessible for everybody, only people that have 2.0. Uh, at this current point in stage, I, I do believe that it is going to be fully accessible to the public. I think I recall somebody mentioning that, um, but not too sure if that's going to change or anything. Because um, at the moment, only I believe people with 2.0 and having like, you know, a full serial key and everything can access it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get into it and I might talk a bit more about that after uh, recording this. But anyway... I'm going into some some settings. So first off, you may uh, if you have access to it, you may notice there's a couple changes and uh, things that you know may or may not be what you're after and may be a bit of a downgrade in your opinion. I do believe that there are some downgrades in regards to the UI making things a bit more, especially like these being all nested and everything. It does make it a bit like. You know, whenever, whenever I'm just trying to find a specific thing to play around with, uh, this isn't necessarily um, what I'm going to be looking for. Like, if I'm looking for, uh, you know, what options for my terrain am I going to be wanting to use um, as, like, a basis, I don't really want to go terrain, landscape, and, you know, have to manually find it here. Yes, you can right-click and search up, for example, mountain. Or, luckily, we've got, you know, all these uh, codes now, so we can go, like, for example... Uh, right mouse button M enter for mountain or right M R for mountain range enter um, Yeah, that's amazing great. You could probably go like per or P for Perl and it seems to work and stuff like that um, or even you know C for uh, Combine it's great like super easy super helpful to find stuff um, and I would 100% recommend trying to learn what each, uh, you know, special code is. It's just going to heavily speed up uh, your workflow. But for those of you who are trying to get into it and trying to, you know, see what we have available, uh, you'll definitely 100% want to change this. So in order to um, at least improve this, uh, a lot of these settings are going to be, all, well, all of these, I should say, are going to be in the options menu. But um, there's just going to be a couple tip, uh, quick tips here. Um, we're going to be changing nested to flat and this is going to heavily improve it so now we've got everything available in their little um sing boxes now in my opinion i still prefer the um guy one just having the box um i don't think necessarily this is something that should be uh removed i think this is still a pretty interesting change and i think it is definitely a lot cleaner hides things away if you are trying to if you know everything off by heart you're not going to be using this anyway but for those of us who are starting um and you know may know like not all the nodes off by heart or you know not too certain on what we're wanting and just want a bit of like a visual like read what we've got to use um it, it is generally a bit easy to just have the thing on the side so i can just scroll through and see uh what i'm after but I think this is still good. Uh, if there was an option, another setting, instead of just nested and flat, having another option for all nodes available, I think that would be like the greatest. Um, I think that would be an amazing uh, thing. Um, another thing that is helpful and going to... I'll, I'll quickly point this out. I'm not certain if you need to tick these on. When I had Gaia 2 originally, before I changed some settings, um, these were both off. I haven't noticed a major difference in terms of uh, performance. I'm not too sure if that's just my CPU is running pretty good and, and GPU isn't being used too much. I'm not too sure if this if it was still being used. I believe my GPU was still being used, uh, regardless of these being turned off. I'm not too sure if these turn what the point of turning these on and off does. Uh, then, considering it was still being used, maybe it relies more on um, your GPU performance if you turn these on. I'm not too certain. Also running all these um, performance checks and stuff like that doesn't seem to do anything either. So this may be something that isn't fully implemented yet and they're looking at adding it later and that's why this is here. But for um, the sake of the story, we're just gonna turn these both on. I'd recommend doing that uh, just in case if they do change something in the future or if it is uh, making a difference that I, I, I haven't measured or and I haven't you know done any timer test to see if that is fully making a change but it is something i'd recommend 
uh, doing just in case. Um, and another thing that I'm going to show off, uh, I don't know if Guy1 has this, but for those of you who this may be helpful to, uh, this is a pretty interesting thing. Changing viewport configuration from embedded to floating. Now, I believe this will crash my Gaia. Uh, we're going to find out. Okay, so it's not crashing it. It did crash it before when I was testing it. But uh, we can. But if I do go and um, bring Gaia back up again, we're going to see that everything is now uh, completely separated. So we've got... Um, guy a, a viewport here um which you can put so if you have a separate monitor you're working with um maybe one big monitor or you are working with a couple separate ones that you're used to working with now you can have like your viewport on maybe your monitor that maybe has better um color accuracies better um resolution and stuff uh, just to see you know everything that you need to see and then you can have all the nodes here this will also make it a bit easier for those of you who um want a bit of extra space for your nodes um but personally that's not for me i am going to quickly change this back just go to embedded um i'm struggling to get this to work hold on there we go and then just reclose it again and then running gaia again will give you the updated change Sorry if this doesn't match up as well. I'm adding this in post because I just remembered about this. This isn't a big um, thing though, but uh, just for those who are interested in it, um, when we add our normal nodes, right, we're getting, for example, this. Um, for those of you who sort of know what you're working with and know what uh, you sort of want, uh, there are other options for changing how these kind of work. So we can change the default size um, to like compact, for example. I believe you have to re-add a new one. Um, so for example, it removes the in and out and it just makes it more flat. As well as we can also do um, small, which is just going to be like a little box, um, which we're going to see over here. So let me add that here. It's got the name under the image, just got little box. For those of you who are working with a lot of nodes and are constantly working with a lot of nodes, and you're not too, you know, you're not needing really to see the names and all these inputs and stuff like that, uh, this may be beneficial to you. To me, um, I prefer the bigger ones just so I can sort of see where I'm working with see each portion and make sure I know where I'm going back and forth into. Um, but that, that is um, definitely something that uh, some people may prefer using, and I think still a valuable thing to bring up. Awesome. Um, final thing that I'm really going to mention, I'll see, there might be something else that I can think of, but uh, maybe helpful. The default uh, preview resolution is set at 1K. Um, originally, Gaia 1 is default uh, 512. So those of you who have maybe a worse computer, or something that, yeah, ultimately 512 may be something that you want to change to, um, just for performance reasons. I've always looked at it as um, you start low, just get the base shapes going at 512, then change to one, uh, like 1024 when you're ready to start adding some more detail, and then um, 2048 if you're trying to do those final details and maybe try out. Uh, 4k if we're doing some like uh, extra extra fine tuning changes that's the workflow that i usually use i think gaia at least on my pc which i do have a pretty beefy one um it's pretty good with just running 10 24 off the bat everything kind of works pretty pretty quick uh 2048 is all right but i wouldn't work off 2048 off the basis um, in terms of any other settings, I don't believe there's anything else. You may want to play around with some of these uh, yourself to see if there's anything that you would like um, and that you think is uh, perfect. Uh, but for the for the most part, right now, um, everything's pretty good. I mean, you know, we're running at at um, 1k. If I add like a mountain node, maybe like um, I don't know E2 for like erosion two, we can see that we're getting pretty quick results and. Um, maybe like a rugged, um, I don't know, there's a new outcrops node. Um, as you can see, everything kind of loads pretty quickly. You can maybe go like, um, texturizer, texturizer, there we go. There's a new soil thing, let's check out what the soil is, for example. 
Uh, that's actually really cool. You can play around with these. This will be really quick. And then adding like, you know, a set uh, map to see, you know, your result. You can get some pretty, pretty good looking results pretty quickly. Um, obviously, I'm not really going to, I'm not trying to make anything fancy. I'm just trying to show you, you know, the speed that we can be working at um, here. Uh, even on, on 1k by default, everything's pretty much instantaneous. I think I've had great results working on 1k um, as a basis. But for those of you who do want to change it, 512 is something. I'm just going to quickly spend the last little bit talking about some things to stay away from. Um, from my experience, I don't believe anything has been changed in this regard. Um, so if I were to go, for example, yeah, we're going to what i'm going to say we cannot use okay at the moment um i just want to let you guys know this will hopefully and better change in the future because this is quite major do not use the normals node normals node will crash your gaia i believe it's fine if you do not have it linked i'm going to test that now um, i stand corrected it's still going to crash even um uh when not linked so uh that's not good this has been a bug for quite a you know quite the minute um i'm just gonna reopen it uh another issue that i've found is the clay um mode i love the look of the clay mode um the clay visualizer i should say the issue we're gonna double check but i believe it is gonna yep it's gonna crash I don't know what the issue is. There's a couple other things like that that are just going to crash. But I think uh, those are two major things, at least, that I want to get out and say. Um, because I have, by the way, I have mentioned these in the Discord. And I've, you know, done my reports and stuff to make sure that they are aware of it. So I hope they are. But those are at least two major things. I think normal map is one of the most important nodes that you're going to use. Because if you want to export a normal map, which is great for adding detail that isn't necessarily needing to physically be there as what a height map would do um because then you could work with for example 1k height map and then like a 4k normal map and it's going to look pristine but um or even 2k you know it depends on what you're working with there but at the moment normal maps are completely broken uh what i can show you i'm just going to quickly pause i do have this website here just normal map online you can probably find it by searching up normal map online this is a great way of turning height maps to normal maps. It's not perfect, but it is going to give you a great result while not really having to do any work. So I would recommend something like this uh, for the time being if you are. But once again, this is why Guy 2.0 is not production ready and has some issues. Uh, once again, the clay, clay renderer, I think that it looks amazing. I've had some really cool looking uh, stuff come out of the clay renderer. Um, it's not visible, uh, what well, usable, sorry. Um, there might be a specific setting or something that's, uh, you know, causing those issues, but it is unfortunately one of the selling points. Well, I wouldn't say selling points, but it is one of the, one of the new updated cool things that they've added that unfortunately is inaccessible. There's also a lot of um, nodes as well that don't work. Um, there used to be a way of telling, I believe, Everything that has a grayed out um, icon, I believe, doesn't work. I'm, I know there's some that definitely don't work. Like, I know trees 100% doesn't work. You'll get this message saying this node is under construction. Um, but uh, changing... Oh, there's also this. You can usually find other nodes here uh, that are similar. For some reason, I'm not getting any extra ones for trees, though, but I believe... Okay, so lakes is working. So, unfortunately, we've run into the thing of... I believe they've added... Oh, that looks really cool. Um, but not what I was after. Um, there, there used to be the case of all these white, uh, like, lighter ones, where the, um, the uh, working ones and all the dark ones weren't working. It seems they've since changed that. I'm not too sure. I'd have to have another look at what what does and doesn't work but uh at least you can tell here it will say if it's not um accessible there are definitely some that aren't accessible and definitely aren't working so do take a, a quick look at stuff there are also a lot of nodes that aren't 
here from Gaia one so also just be be wary of that of uh definitely if you're used to I, like you cannot necessarily recreate the same terrain one to one using the same nodes with the same parameters there are parameters missing that i'm just like why did we take away these parameters maybe it's in, it can all be worked with one parameter but then trying to i don't know i feel like having a bit more control using i don't know if that's necessarily the case or not but there are a couple of things especially like um i was playing around with the wizard node i believe it was uh oh let me add that mountain back again and add like a wizard um, I was playing around with the wizard too. There's a lot less uh, settings and stuff compared to. I mean, if I can bring it up, Gaia um, one. Uh, not necessarily less settings, but it's just completely different. I accidentally opened it twice, apparently. Um, but if we were to go uh, for, did I close it? No. Good. Uh, and I were to add like a mountains, and then I were to add. Um, we're going to add, for example, wizard. Uh, we do get a quite a bit different, you know, instead of all of these, you know, awesome phases and some slightly different um, names phase two as well, bulk, stuff like that. We are missing out a lot of that um, and only have access to really the